Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Dan Paul. We back and we live. Y'all already know what it is. Episode 6. Y'all already know. A new alert. New location. Y'all already know, man. I can't tell y'all the location because that's doing too much. But look, you know, he's still here. The same person, the same Dan Paul is still here, man. I just want y'all to know, man. I appreciate y'all, you know, staying with me throughout the last three weeks. I came across these two guys um, that was nice enough to lend me the spot. Um, for a reasonable price for those that is interested in hosting the podcast or doing those things. But we're going to get to that in um, another second. But neither here nor there. We're here in a new location for episode six. Let's get back into the championship album. <laughs> Yo, Meek is back, man. He came back, dog. That's all I'm going to say. Meek is back, man. That nigga got the city buzzing, you know. I'm going to get this out the way right now. A lot of people were saying, Yo, Beans, ain't nobody running the city like Beans. Beans got this shit shut down. Nigga, fuck that. Miss me with that BS, dawg. Me got this city on lock, dawg. I'm being honest with you, yo. Yeah, Beans had Philly on that grimy type shit, that, grit, that, that grittiness type shit. I knock you the F out type shit. You feel me? Back in the day until he got knocked the F out type shit, unfortunately. But when me, me he give you that... That swag, that, that the motivation, that hunger, because we actually seen Meek from the headshots and got spittage and uh, too raw for the streets, you feel me? To where he's at now, having um, million dollar, I'm exaggerating with the million dollar lunches, but having expensive dinners and lunches with uh, Robert Kraft and Michael Rubin and Hov from Marcy, you feel me? This is a guy from North. That was playing North and South. You feel me? We was listening to them. Eight ball, all that. You feel me? But to get into the album, the intro is amazing, man. I can feel it. You feel me? I felt like I was watching Rocky or something. Like, I think that was Rocky theme in a sense. I don't know what it was, but that joint gave me a good vibe. Trauma was lit, man. He was talking to the talking to the streets, talking to everyone that can relate to him, to be honest with you. A lot of people feel as though this is his best work. Um, me personally, I feel like this is best work. That's just me. You know, I'm not the biggest Meek fan, but when Meek's spitting that real shit, you can't tell I'm not the biggest fan or a big fan or not. You know, um, he was spitting that real shit from the first song to maybe the last song. I had maybe two skips on there. Splash Warner, I don't like it. I'm sorry. I don't like Future on that song at all. He fucked the whole song up for me, yo. I hate when he like, I hate when he doing that. Like, y'all didn't even understand what I just said, right? Because, like, I didn't understand that. I don't like when he spit that shit. Like, when Meek spitting that real shit, yo, you can't have a nigga like Future on there fucking it up, yo. Because some people be like, yo, Thug be spitting that BS. I can't tell. When Thug was on We Ball, a lot of people memorize Thug verse, but someone gonna say he spit that BS. You feel me? Like, I don't know. The top five songs on there, I like Trauma, I like Championships, I like Going Bad. Going Bad, that's my jam, yo. That, that, that's the type of John that gets you lit, though. He like, well, well, you feel me? Put some bands on your head like Jason Terry. That, that bar was so simple, but it was so hot, yo. You feel me? Because if y'all watch basketball, you know Jason Bean um, head. Terry always have a damn headband on his head. You feel me? Always. And then you got <clears throat> um, Stuck In My Ways, man. Stuck In My Ways. That John crazy. It give me the old meek, you know, with the flow going up and down and switching it up. And then uh, it's another song. Uh, maybe A Hundred Summers. A Hundred Summers. That's my jam, yo. I really felt that, man. You know, he said, he said niggas got to look in the rear view because niggas die in the parking lot. That's real shit where we from, man. Niggas getting parked in the cars left and right nowadays. It's not even safe to uh, sit in your car for too long because you evidently or I said evidently, you might get jumped or you jump. You might get jammed or you might get killed, uh, unfortunately. It's a lot of things that we see on the news like this every day, you know. Um, and speaking on the news every day, I wanted to save this topic for later but you know when I speak on some real shit um I had to let that be known early uh it was a Baltimore stabbing that like pissed me off recently um it was a, a Baltimore stabbing this past weekend and it was a 54 year old lady electrical engineer um she was actually helping a panhandler I know all the black people probably scratching their head like, what the fuck is that? A panhandler. A panhandler is basically a people, people that we see every day on the streets, you know, asking for money and shit. That's the proper word to use, even though they say urban. But um, <clears throat> basically a beggar. And the person reached over. It was raining outside. Um, matter of fact, let me get, tell you all the story. They was driving from a dinner or a dance. Um, and 
uh, it was a minister, the husband, and his wife, you know, driving at the midnight. And the lady noticed that a, a young lady holding a baby asking for money. So the lady said, here, I'll give you $10. Mind you, it's raining. So she leaned outside the car, gave her the ten dollars. As she's giving the lady the ten dollars, some random boy came out of nowhere. But the husband said that he was with her, cause that's how it looked. He said the man came out of nowhere and said, "Can I thank your wife?" The man was like, "Yeah, sure, you can thank her." She reached outside the car, mind you, giving her the ten dollars. Main man stabbed this lady, yo. Stabbed this lady, yo. And it just made me think, like, that shit crazy, dawg. Because I'm a person that gives bread to everyone, yo. I, I, this is me. You feel me? I see someone outside of Popeye's or whatever, I might give you a meal or I might give you a dollar. I see someone um, with a, a, a U.S. Army vet or a Marine vet or anything, I might, if I have it, I might give you a dollar or whatever. Just for me to think I'm reaching to give you something and someone's trying to kill me, yo, that shit gave me heaven. Had me having second thoughts, to be honest with you. Y'all got to watch yourselves out here, man. It's dangerous out here, man. This lady had two sons, one in school and um, one in the Coast Guard. To find out your mom died for helping someone. Like, like listen to that shit, yo. We living in a crazy world. Like, I, I need y'all to understand that, man. And, um, you know, I get passionate with shit like that. Like, that shit, that shit, like, I don't know. Like, by me being raised by a woman, and my, by my great grandma who passed away, and my um, shit like that, I get I get emotional when when I find out females get fucked over. You feel me? Like certain females, yeah, some of them, uh, but like the ones that be getting harmed, yo, that's that's fucked up, yo. Like it, it is, yo. Like it, it's crazy to be honest with you. I, I really can't even say anything. It's it's horrific. It's 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 just disgusting to be honest with you. Um, but <clears throat> I gotta switch that topic because uh, I gotta speak on. The shit that y'all really want to hear about. I just wanted to speak on the, um, the stuff that I want y'all to be aware of because y'all care about the shit I'm about to speak on, which is Takashi. You know, um, the judge actually dropped a sexual assault charge, a sexual assault charge um, with Takashi uh, recently. Now you know he facing some time too. People saying he might crack, he might rat, he might snitch, he might bitch. I don't know, because he did say bitch, nigga. Nigga, you know, you always say that. So I don't know what he gonna do. But I really don't feel like he deserves 25 to life. I don't deserve, I don't think he deserve, I don't think he deserve nothing. I don't know, I don't know what he deserve, to be honest with you. I like Takashi, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. A lot of people don't like Takashi. That's fine. It's a lot of people, that, a lot of people don't like me. Shit, I don't give a fuck. But me personally, I like Takashi for one reason, one reason only. He's marketable to me. Reason being, y'all probably like, wow, he promotes dumb shit. He promotes himself in a way people are still going to find out what he's doing. Now, y'all have to understand that. Chicago, for, exen for example, when he went to Chicago, a lot of people were saying, yo, he can't go to Chicago. He's banned. First thing this man did, as soon as he landed in Chicago, he went to a pizza shop, started giving out food to the homeless, and started giving out money. Boom. You already know he gonna have some people in Chicago on his side. He gonna have some people saying, well, he's doing this positive. Then you got the, the street niggas like, oh, he a nut, dog. he a bitch. He went to Chicago at three o'clock in the morning saying he was posted at 10. Facts, I agree. But me, that nigga still went to Chicago. Like that's something I don't think y'all understand, yo. I, I don't know, I, that's just me, yo. He, 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 he disrespected Chief Keef, um, Chief Keith, what you call him, right? Baby mom got her taking her to Gucci um shopping sprees and this, that, and the third. But check this out. Y'all probably saying how is this all marketable? He currently has a number one album, because you know Billboard effed it up because they said Travis did. He currently has a number one album on Billboard right now, and he's booked. What are you saying this for, Dad? The music he has, you feel me? People don't gravitate to the music, they gravitate to him. So he just drops something, he's, he's in jail right now, boom, let me support this nigga. Let me buy all this extra shit. That's what people do, yo. That's what people do. The boy, um, what's his name? Yella Beezy. Yella, Yella Beezy, oh, I forgot his name. The guy who be like, it's on me, baby, whatever his name is. Him, he got shot for him to get an interview with The Breakfast Club. People like to support negative shit, yo. 
I never understood that, yo. I don't. And that's why we're going to have a power, you know, we're going to have a person right now, uh, well, not right now, but in this episode, that's going to be on some shit. He ain't do nothing negative for him to be popping and shit, or for him to be blowing up and shit. Like, I'm going to catch him right where he in the seed and shit, dude, before he grow up and shit, before he blow up, forget about the boy and shit, you feel me? That's how everything going to be, to be honest with you. Um, I feel as though... <sighs> I just feel as though people just need to support the genuine people. And people need to just see I just fucked up for the first time. This, why y'all give me this yangling? <laughs> this is yangling. This is a yangling. Yeah. But I got to bring that back. It's cool, though. But um, people, like this, uh, people just like to like, support bullshit. And I um, personally feel as though Sakashi didn't do anything to get him facing 25 life. I feel as though he was a target. I feel as though he put himself in a position to get caught up only because he was like doing so much. But as far as the marketable thing, I still stand on that. Like a lot of people want to do shit with Takashi because of the attention he brings, to be honest with you. He's almost like a another Kanye West with the trolls. You know, Tory Lane said got on the radio not too long ago, said that he reminded him of Tupac in the situation. Crickets. You know, I don't know, but that's what the new generation is going through. To be honest with you, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't like that. Uh, this whole situation, this whole coming at Kanye West, or was he directly coming at Donald Trump? I like him leaning towards Donald Trump. At first, I thought it was Kanye West because when he was saying my house, you know, they said my spouse. Come on, man, he ain't finished his thing. I thought he was coming at Kanye. Cause I'm like, everyone knows Beyonce look better than Melania or Mel Melania or whatever her name is. I, that's what I thought. But then I'm like, hold on, he might be coming at, Ky he might be coming at Kim and Kanye and them. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he's coming at him. I think he's 49. He's, he's to the point where it's like, listen, I'm just trying to let y'all know who I am. You feel me? Hove got arguably the most diverse of the year, I think. I, I don't know. I think he's the, he had diversity of the year because he was actually speaking that real shit. He was actually saying some stuff that a lot of people are going to make or misconstrue and make it seem like he's coming at his brother. That's why Kanye came out with Watch the Throne tweet right after um, Jay-Z clarified that, you know. Um, but, but enough of that. Uh, I want to speak on the music in Philadelphia. You have a lot of challenges going on. You have the Greg G's challenge. You have, I don't know if the Slick Talk challenge is still going on, but you have a lot of challenges. You have a lot of rappers trying to get that recognition. You have a lot of rappers rapping their ass off to get the publicity and things of that sort. Um, me personally, I feel as though y'all gotta keep rapping. Keep rapping. Cause I think y'all rapping in front of the wrong people. Not everyone, but some people. I think y'all rapping in front of the wrong people. Like, to be honest with you, I'm gonna give y'all, I want y'all to think about this real quick. You go on Instagram, I'm pretty sure you're gonna see a lot of people promoting, right? And then people say, I'll pay you $50. I mean, uh, $50 to have your shit on my page for 24 hours, 48 hours, whatever the case may be, right? Put that $50 or whatever the case, whatever that is, towards your goal and something that, and towards the people that's important is really going to help you get somewhere not for people just to get their damn buzz up and get some more money in their pocket and have you on their page for 48 hours and you're deleting you just put your 50 dollars up there you get what i'm saying like like for example i'll be seeing a lot of people that's ass on pages you feel me then i see a lot of people that's nice that's not getting no publicity or exposure. And I just be thinking like, what aren't y'all doing right? The people that's nice not paying for the shit. They don't want to, they want to get it from the muscle. Real people who want to find them, that's real, you know? I got that from Quincy Harris, um, you know, that's QDZ. You know, he said some real shit to me. He said, yo, you ain't gotta, I mean, Wallow, was it Wallow? It was, no, it wasn't Wallow, it was QDZ and someone else said this, but they was basically saying, no, actually, it was too easy twice when I met him in two different locations, occasions. He said, yo, you don't got to worry about people, you know, you don't have to worry about going to people. You don't have to worry about that. Don't keep knocking on people's doors and trying to get in their face. They're going to come to you eventually. 
you got to keep putting that work in. If you feel as though this episode or if you feel as though this topic is not covering whatever it needs to cover, you know, keep going hard. He gave me a good, he gave me some good advice. He basically said, yo, all your episodes, get straight into the point. Don't drag it. So now from now on, from once he told me that, I just like to get straight into the point. You feel me? I don't like to just talk about too much. I just like to get straight into the point. And straight into the point, my man, um, Mitch Lake's about to be on the show. So that's a good way to bring him in. You already know. Get back to you and me. Get back to you and me. I did it too. Get past it. Get back to you and me. Gave each other space. Took some time for us to break up. I was in that mirror. She looked her best without makeup. We was A-list. Relationship felt like we still was dating. Debated on cuffing her. She knew too many faces. Being honest. My future seemed better with her behind it. Lost sight of my dream. She never left. She helped me find it. Walk right in my life with perfect timing And time is what we love most in life You know we can't control it Who we spend it with, how much we waste it Without us knowing, looking for them true colors Ignoring, they already showed us like we So, we here, we live, episode 6 We got the one and only, one and only Mitch Lakes, ladies and gentlemen Yeah, 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 What's up, yeah. Mitch, how you doing? Yo, dawg, listen, man Let me tell you, dawg, check this out I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, before this interview, I'm thinking this better be my first time meeting this guy, yo. Real shit. He opened the door, he came to the door, I said, yo, you ain't gonna know where I know you from. I said, where? The Phil, Winfield, man. When I used to live in Winfield, you know, my man Kashawn uh, uh, Mari, man. I'm like, damn, dog, it's a small world. Like, we knew each other back when we was young boys. We talking yeah. teenagers, early teens and shit, man. Oh, that shit go way back, dog. It do, dog, way back, dog. It's crazy, though, but, man, Niggas fast man. forward in life, though, man, you a rapper. Right. Shit, spitting. I remember you used to play ball, like, you know what, like, you still, you still be, you still got the ball on, skills? Man. or you, you know I still get down. Man. I'm just, I'm just asking. I ask, still get down, though. I'm just asking, though, man. This rap shit ain't getting in the way of that, though. Like, right, right. You but what inspires you to rap, though, man? I started rap. I started. I started poetry at first, bro. Okay. Keep it. Keep it a bean. Like I think life just hit me in a different way, and I needed a, a little outlet to get that off. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? I ain't want to be no rapper though. Like, right. or, like it kind of chose me on some shit. Like not on no like, like wild shit. But I was um my man Dev. He mm -hmm. rap, mm -hmm. but he he hit me on some shit. Like yo, I've been thinking about rapping. Like on some like it came out the blue. And um, we was at Westchester, I think we was on break. Mm -hmm. We was out AC. Mm -hmm. um, and he hit me with that, and I told him I was writing some poetry shit. So he gave me a beat. It was Shook Ones. Mm, my beat. Yeah, yeah, he gave me a beat. Um, I wrote to that, John. Um, I sounded all right on the beat. He was like, yo, you gotta you got start rapping with me type shit. And right. then, that shit went on from there, bro. And then I started getting like a passion for it after that. Mm -hmm. And um, just trying to find my identity, trying to find my flow. Like I started playing with it earlier than what I came out with. But when I came out on the scene, I wanted to make sure like I felt as though I was confident enough to come out and be like, and accept the, oh, you a rapper now? Right. Like, you know what I mean? Right, I, right, had right. To, I had to be comfortable before I came out because that's not always like easy for real, for real, like motherfucker. And that's why I'm. Like, that's why people stop doing what they do. As far as like, there's people that want rap right now, but they they scared of what somebody yeah, else might going, say right. type shit or right. getting that. Oh, you rap too? Come on, bro, hang that shit up type right. shit. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. You you know for ball. Right. You play ball. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like I had to get my mind off that mm -hmm. and be comfortable to be like, yeah, I rap. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Check me out. My SoundCloud this. Right, you feel right, what I'm saying? Right. Had that attitude. Right. So it kind of just built over time as far as my hunger for it type shit. I like that. It's funny you say that because, you know, the first, um, a lot of people would normally say, man, I don't rap. You know, I mean, I rap, but I don't take it serious. You feel right. me? So it seemed like you was already trying to embrace that yeah. already when you were starting to take it serious. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? But by you being a poet, um, what inspired you to be a poet? Because, like, you know, you got Wale, like he's a poet, but a lot of people look at him as a rapper. Yeah. So what inspired you to be a poet? Or you just like the- The way, first the name that you say, Wale, he was a big, like he was a big influence for me as far as rap. Mm -hmm. Because um, him and Cole, those was like my <coughs> go-tos for real, for real. As mm -hmm. well as Kendrick too. Right, but that's pretty rare like, right there, K-Dot. Yeah, mine too. Mm -hmm. But as far as like that poetry shit, uh, what is, uh, more about nothing. Mm -hmm. That was the tape that the did tape, it for me yeah. for Wale, where yeah, it's like, was the tape right there. he just talked to me in a different way, where yeah. it was like, yo, that shit was different. You feel what I'm uh -huh. saying? But I don't know. I always had a knack for words. Like, I don't uh -huh. know. Like, 
You feel what I'm saying? Even when I was younger, like people have been telling me stories about just incidences where I was like, I always I had a knack for the for for music and words and shit like that. So when I started when I started rapping, it wasn't like it forceful for me. Like it mm -hmm. wasn't like when I when I was trying to get my expressions out as far as what I was dealing with, like as far as at the crib, whatever the case may be, it wasn't hard for me to get that shit out. Right. For me to connect words. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like and Wale and, and Cole. And, and later on, like Mick Jenkins, uh, Isaiah Rashad, uh, uh, let's go TV. on, Meek, Isaiah you feel Rashad. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, Meek always got, and I feel like that's that's a different side of me type shit, where mm -hmm. it's just like I could tap into different type shit, but it's a, a long list of where my motivation and my my like, my like drive come from and why I started type shit. Now with the Make and Move EP, right? Now, I'm gonna keep it a bean with you, you know, he actually, told me about you as far as the music um, the music um, aspect goes. But as far as making move, where did right. that come from? Where did the name come from? Is this your first project? That was random. Make a move was random. I was supposed to put out a uh, another tape longer okay. than, uh, than this EP, but we wanted to make a few more adjustments to that and decided to push that to the back. But make a move was just something to like, Give them a broad like a uh, introduction of who I am type shit like you mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying and not give them too much but just enough you feel what I'm saying mm -hmm. a good blend of music and it wasn't I didn't want it to be too long I wanted it to be like our generation attention span not that good so right. I still wanted to keep that in mind but I wanted to put out a good like work of music out for them to just get straight to you feel what i'm saying and mm -hmm. one of them the itch for more like damn like only four you yeah. feel what i'm saying like you know, and the song's not too long so mm -hmm. it's like dog what the you know what i mean yeah, yeah, and then yeah. they go to the page it's like they just want more music and I, that's what i want i wanted them to like scratch the floor like damn cuz like right. let me i need some more music let me get an eight joint next time right, you feel right, what i'm right. saying and it's like i'm coming with way more than what I came with with that Ford, man. So I'm just, I'm excited to just get y'all that, for real, for real. I was gonna actually tell you this, though. Um, when I seen the Make A Move EP drop, uh, I just noticed that it had four songs, so the first thing I thought of was Daytona. Right. I'm like, hold on, yo, because I know, I know something behind this. I'm like, hold on. They want to get everyone drawn into it because right. it's like four songs but like I didn't have to like you didn't yeah. have to explain that to me I knew it like yeah. I'm I pay attention to shit like I'm like Kanye and him was smart you know because after he did it you know everyone started doing seven eight nine songs now mm -hmm. it's not that many over 12 anymore you right feel me? so I'm like all right that makes sense and he's actually up for album of the year as well right. but um they get to that uh what's one of your favorite tracks off of the EP because me personally like I told you off camera I feel as though if only it's um a relatable track and um it's one of my favorite tracks but um what's yours um, if you have one to answer that question before uh you asked me was that my first project yeah i did put out a little ep called ghetto senior no vision and that okay. was on my dope school soundcloud page and it's still up there okay just a little like little teaser just a, i was really i ain't really like it but i was going to take it down but it's still up there but i'll call this my official like Coming out? Coming out party, for real, for real. Okay. But to get to um the tape as far as my favorite, mm -hmm. I'm going to say if, like, I'm a, I had, like, I had the tracks for a little minute. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. if only, I had it for only for a minute. So it's like, okay. you know what I mean? It's new I to know us, that, but. It's yeah, okay. like, that's, that's definitely my, like, my, one of my favorites for sure. But I feel like what's my favorite to listen to, I would say Make a Move. Make a Move. That yeah, lit me, too. me, just because like I don't know, I'm a, I'm a goofy ass nigga. And I like, I still like to dance and do shit like that. Right. So that's my shit. Like, if I could find a good beat, and those was, was that was a good joint for me. Where it's like I like make a move. Mm -hmm. So I would say that just to like not just be saying like if only my favorite joint because it's everybody favorite. It's one of everybody favorite joint. I've been getting a sprinkle of everything, but right. I'm gonna say make a move for sure, just for the up tempo and shit like okay. that. Okay. Okay. Well. <clears throat> by you dropping your latest tape um, and you want to do everything on your own, I'm noticing. Mitch yeah. Leaks and Friends. Um, where did that come about? And yeah, by the way, you know, the kid hosting that too. You know, that John. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next yeah, Friday, yeah, you know, yeah. the 14th. But yeah, uh, where did that come about? We show love. Uh, the crew, man. E, Matt, mm -hmm. um, Shiz. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the gang over there, SBS Management and all that. 
But um, you know, E and Shiz, they they pr- they practically fam type shit. So we just came together on some business type shit. Wanted to stir something up, man. Stir the city up. You feel what I'm saying? And get something rolling. Mm-hmm. I'm fresh off an of EP, so why not me headline the show? I wanted to do something small, but still bring a good amount of people in. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? And okay. Generate our own traffic. You feel what I'm saying? I right. feel like, like I said, we had a little conversation off camera, and I was like. We need to generate our own support. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? When you when you show people that other people are supporting your brand and your music, and they actually knowing your lyrics, it make people want to join on mm-hmm. and, and see like, damn. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe I was late. You feel what I'm saying? Cause I'm right. taking I'm taking all the late bandwagons. I don't care. Go ahead. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. It don't matter. Like, that's how it usually is. No, you feel what I'm real, saying? Real. People don't want. They wait for they other homie or they wait for that co sign. Whatever the case may be, right. I'm not putting that to I don't i I'm not putting my attention towards that. I right. don't really care for that. Right. My music gonna touch the people that's supposed to, you feel what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. if if you don't like it, then it's not for you. And I accept that. It's it's no harm on that, you feel what I'm saying? No no technical foul. But and focusing on who who does like it. That's who I want to bring in, and that's what this is. Just bringing in love and everybody having a good time overall type shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Now, that's all genuine, to be honest with you. I was also going to ask you, um, by you um, saying what inspired you to rap and also what inspired you to write, because you have we way with words. Like, do you have a top five as far as your rappers? Um, I am top five You put them right, right on now. the spot, you feel me? Yeah, you went right to it, you see? Uh... I get my, all right, there you I'm gonna go. go. I'm gonna I'm go. I'm gonna I'm I'm go straight to it. I'm gonna go Hov. Right. Um, I'm gonna go Hov, Kendrick. Yes, thank you, dog. I'm thank you. Hove, Put Kendrick, Kate out up there, dog. Cole. Hov, Kendrick, Cole, Wayne, and Nas. There you go. You put Nasir Jones up there. There we go, my man. Yeah, I agree. I like that. That's my five. I like that. Might have to take Wayne out, but I, Wayne he he earned the five. For and I reason. and I and let me say my Wayne because Wayne is Wayne like this, Wayne a wild card. I'm gonna say that because I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a always have my wild card. Wayne my wild card for the simple fact that the generation that he did influence as far as the mumble rap that everybody did say. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? He still came out like. Like nobody else for real, for real. Like you right. feel what I'm saying? That era that he came out, that no ceilings, that mixtape era. Like I was the first one to like he. The Carter was one of my first albums that I bought for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know I mean going to the gallery. Yeah. Fye type right, shit. Right, right. That was the Carter like type shit. Right. Like I, that was my first shit. So shit like that, I remember like mm-hmm. you know what I mean shit like that. So I never like disrespect him regardless of all the other shit that he done did later in his career. He still. His impact on music, oh yeah, is like by far top five Hall of Fame, like no, I agree. without a doubt. No, you know I what agree. I'm saying? I so agree. it's like it's I all agree. about preference or oh, like. when was you introduced to him? Right. You feel what I'm saying? No, I agree. When, how old you going back to fame? Lil? You feel what I'm saying? The, I'm going back to BM, BMR. You feel what I'm I saying? I was about to say going back to Lil Wayne uh, Hardball. Going back when he was on Hardball with Lil Bow Wow and Lil Zane, all them like yeah, Lil Wayne. Yeah, I'm talking, I'm talking that. Back then, you know what I mean, then. so it's like Hot Boy. If you was listening to that Cash Money Millionaire type shit, just regular shit, I, I, that was that was my shit for real, for real. Mm-hmm. Like I, I still got a rush off that, and still playing them now. That's why he in my top five. But so, um, in that case, what's your thoughts on the albums of the year? Because like, I give you, you know, my nominees. I say Cardi. You know, Talking about what's your top five though? What's rappers, your top five? Yeah, rappers. no, you can't get away from that. That's funny, no, rappers. Yeah, um, five, I feel as though, you know, it's always yeah. switches between Biggie and Nas because um, after Nas dropped Life Is Good, I think I put him above Biggie. I did. Right. Because Life Is Good, it was like yo, that shit's legit. And then he came out with this album with Kanye. It was good, but I, I don't think it lived up to Life Is Good. Right. You know, Life Is Good was right there, but Biggie. Um, because my mom put me on the Biggie. Um, she's a lyrical listener, and that's how I am, because she grew up on like Eric B and Rakim right. and all of them, so I, I have to listen to that type of right. shit. So Biggie, I like him, because you know, I know all his words, and I just, the older I got, the more I understood his lyrics. Right. You know, Kendrick, K-Dot, people look at me like I'm crazy, because years ago, Billboard t- uh, named Kendrick top 10 rappers all the time, and they said, hold on, 
they gassing this man up. And I'm like, well, how many artists of y'all favorite rapper, how many Shit. favorite rappers do y'all have that has a first album classic? You know, Good Kid, Mad City was arguably up there with, they put him up there with um, Illmatic up there for his first album. Right. I'm like, yo, if y'all listen to that Good Kid, Mad City from the first song to the last song, that John's lit. And another album that gets overlooked is uh, um, To Pimp a Butterfly, but that's my three. Four, I'm putting, um, I'm putting, um, damn. I don't even, I hate to say it. I gotta got put Hov. So I'm putting Hov. Nas, Nas Big, Big, Kendrick, Hov, yeah. and um, Five. That's hard. Um, two. That's crazy, but I gotta put T.I. T.I. was my man for the longest, and I can't, I can't front. T.I. Um, I, I, that's a wild card, but I really don't have a five. I got four. I don't have a five for real. I really don't. I yeah. can't. I can't give you a know five. You this man ain't say ain't no say me. Hmm. Me ain't in the top five. No, me ain't gonna be in my top five. <laughs> I'm be honest, with you. I'm, 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 I'm from Philly, but I, I ain't biased now. And I that's ain't. how people. Be. I feel like that's how we is though. Yeah, Philly, like, that's how we is. Like it's like anything like. Yo, you say certain shit about Meek. Meek Listen. don't be getting played with in the city. Nah, man. Meek is God to some people, yo. They Meek, look at Meek like God. Meek don't be getting played with in the city. I don't be getting that, dog. It's like you, you disrespecting Meek someone. Meek definitely in my top 10, though. And represent, wait, all the time? Yeah. All right, okay. Okay, that's cool. He gotta be, bro. Ah, he need a confirmation, he top 10? Top 10. Bro, so, so you going to sit here and say of first all of all time, time, all time. Talk about, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Top I'm going to go back 10? and now that's why I got challenging, you, Matt. You feel what I'm saying? Here we that's go. That's why I'm challenging, you, Matt. All right, so you just was saying, we done seen him go from... Here, uh, yes. All right, that plays into now, too, as far as music. Yeah, I agree. Don't disregard that I where agree. Where, agree. where he started because it's not no album or it's not a group of work. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Because if you was fucking with him watching YouTube mm -hmm. and you know all them fucking freestyles Thanks. where he had braids and all that mm -hmm. shit, all of that shit is included as far as you being a fan yeah. and how heartfelt those, those lyrics hit you. You're right. But does that make him a top 10 rapper of all time? Yes, because it hits you. I, I, can name you, you I can name nine artists. Actually, I can name 10 artists but in the meek of all time. Like... Now, man, this I'm is not saying about rap. It's not always see, about that's what lyrical. See, see, see. It's see. about how music hits you and all right, how, all right, all right. how much of okay, 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 okay. Come on, lyrically. Now, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here go. Is Meek one of the most influential rappers and shit? Hell yeah, I, can, I agree. He, he he had a story. Right. Now, as far as rappers, I put, I'm putting Eminem above Meek, yo. That's a fact. Am I crazy for that? No. You listen to Eminem, Eminem. more than Meek? No, no, no. All right, so time out. That's no, my. This no, is my whole point. No. This is my whole point. No, but do y'all get what I'm talk. saying? No, no y'all get what I'm saying. Y'all get what I'm saying. Let me talk now. Let me talk now. Let me talk now. Because this is where. Like, this uh, is where. This is where my confusion is at. People be putting other people before. Like Meek, where y'all listen to Meek way more than these artists. I agree, I agree. All right, let me ask so you. So why do you? Why you, do y'all listen to him if y'all not going to? No, I do not. So, all right. So, if you can listen, to, right, I don't be around you all the time. But now, if you had your, your playlist right on the on the regular chill shit, you got more Kendrick than Meek in your playlist. Yes, that's what's up. I, I respect that. Now, Kendrick's my favorite rapper. You feel me? But I got more Meek than Kendrick. So that's, Meek is damn near here. Come on, man. It's not. It's not. He got more. Listen, he. If y'all, it, it's kind of hard to explain. When I'm on some Kendrick type shit. I listen to Kendrick. Let me look at this camera. Like, this is my camera right here. When I'm listening to Kendrick, right, I'm in my bag. I want to be educated. I need to, like, relax. He's actually saying everything I need to hear. I'm catching on all the bars that people be missing. I'm hearing all that shit. When I'm ready to turn up, because I'm a turn up hype person and shit, Meek is this way. Turn up every day, and I'm blasting Meek every day. That's, that's real shit, bro. That's real, and, and I'm not saying and you not put him in his in your top ten. Top I want him 10. to see this. I want him to see this for that for what you just said, and then say he not in your top ten for the simple fact that he make your mood music every time you that that's the first thing you. No, he's in. Come on, he's in, a, about, he's in my top ten him. rappers right now. Hell yeah, hell so yeah. Top five, top? top five. Matter of oh fact, I put him in the top five rappers right now. So but, when when do he hit top ten? How old? How old do you got? He be? the next hole, so he got he got he got to earn his spot, man. 
He got oh to earn his spot. Gosh. He got to earn his spot. You know what I mean? I ain't like Hov until the Black Album. Why? Because I was a Nas fan. I'm being honest with you. I didn't. The that's Black Album, that's being honest. So what, 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 what? But me, you can't do that I can't with this. Why no, would you I, even, I mean, that's not even com- a comparison. I don't know. I don't know, man. You don't watch this nigga since when? I don't know. You listen I mean, to him great. daily, and you not gonna put him in your top ten. I don't understand. See, he's making like it that. seem like I'm hating on me. I'm not hating on me. I'm I didn't gave him credit. That out there. I I'm gave just him credit. Saying facts, but he's saying, saying what you saying. That's all ten. I'm saying. All right, <laughs> but you, all right. I, I just wanna make sure real quick, cause um, all right, you got Hove up there. You got um, Wayne. He got Hove. I'm not naming order, but you got Hove, Wayne. You know, I don't think you named Cole, Biggie. Kendrick. Cole Kendrick. You named yeah. Biggie, did you? I ain't say Biggie for let me let me say. I was wondering. Seat. I ain't hear Biggie or Pac. I don't think. And Pac is in my top ten, and Biggie I think is licking it. And I'm gonna say this for one reason because. Mm. And I'm gonna say. Me get the fuck. What? I'm gonna say this for one point. I wasn't. I didn't grow up in that era. Like okay. I had to understand that. Okay. So like the music that I that, that I like and that I grew up on kind of hit me a little bit more and and impacted me a little bit more rather than me going back and doing my history. Right. Respecting history and putting people in your top 10 and your top, I, 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 different. I, I separate that. Okay. You know what I mean? I don't really look in, I don't put that in that light. You feel okay. what I'm saying? I did my history. I did my homework, but I don't, I'm not looking for Biggie and Pac right now on title. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm so keeping it all away. No, that's good. I'm agree. keeping it all away. You feel what I'm I saying? Agree. People who be putting like, yeah, Big uh. Pac. Right. You mean? Now you probably don't know shit. Y'all about niggas them. don't even be no, really on it. I agree. Y'all just be saying it because that's the typical. It's the norm. I agree. It's the norm to put big Pac J. <laughs> you know what I mean? He dies. Yeah, yeah, okay. I agree. I agree. You know I what I mean? I agree. That's the that's the regular shit. I agree. I agree. You you walk down that seven out of ten. No, I you agree. What I'm saying. I agree. And I'm, that's just not how. That's not how I put that. I'm not putting that perspective on. How I'm putting my list together, type shit. You feel what I'm saying? That's that's why they not really in my top ten. But back to the album of the year. Album of the year. Uh, some good albums of the year, man. Um, you know, you got you know Drake dropped his album. You know, Trey Drake, dropped his album. Uh, Trey. Uh, Pusha dropped his album. Cardi dropped her album. Meek dropped his album. Um. I'm gonna Kanye say, dropped his album. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, Cole dropped his album. Ain't Cole dropped his album. How can I forget Cole? Tripper. As far as the best, I'm, I don't know. I don't, I'm biased with it because I like Trav John. Trav John, crazy. I like Trav. I John. like Trav Drake. Those I like two Drake John. To me. But yeah. I'm not going. I can't. I don't got a clear cut favorite. I ain't got. I'm not even going to sit here and be like and lie to you and be like, yeah, mm-hmm. this was the album of the year. I think. But honestly, Dude, I'm gonna say this. Let me say Daytona this. Daytona got straight to the I'm point. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I feel like 2018 was a year to remember as far as music. Music, I agree. Albums as far as like the everything, flow of music, everything I feel like that. In that aspect, that's definitely like I say clear cut. You could put that in history. Like 2018 was one of the best years music wise and dropping wise, just as far as like the widespread that it that it, that happened. You feel what I'm saying? No, I agree. And um, but I don't got no clear cut favorite, man. I ain't even gonna sit here and lie to you. I ain't even gonna sit here and be like this was better than shit, cause I don't even be doing shit like that. I feel that. I feel like Travis John and um Drake. Right. Um, they might be neck to neck, but when I heard Meek thing, um, see that that man's gone. I, I feel we're mentioning Meek right now. Because like I want to say this, like, like, this is all coming from him, and no, I bet, I'm, and I'm gonna say what he about to say. <laughs> Me got the album of the year. No, I, 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 I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I'm gonna say it before it happened. I'm gonna say it before it happened. I'm gonna say it before he even say it because he's gonna have to finish what he's saying. You feel what I'm saying? Because he said I don't even feel comfortable. He done look. He paused. I don't even feel comfortable. Go ahead, and finish your sentence. Yeah, I, don't, I ain't feel comfortable saying Meek had a great album. You feel me? He had a great album, and by him dropping it at the end of the November. Um, it's kind of hard to clear, um, kind of hard to put him up there for album of the year. Because if you think about it, Birds of the Trap last year, Travis Scott dropped the album around his time last year, and he wasn't nominated for best album of the year. And that album was lit. If not, it might be up there with um, Astro World. You feel me? Astro World is lit. Um, it's just like a different, it's a masterpiece. Um, I love it. Um, Drake, Tate, it's a masterpiece. Different sounds. Like, I like that. So it's kind of hard for me to pick as well. but. If it became, if it came out of those two, um, I think it was out of Drake and um, um, Travis. To be honest with you, Miki did a good job, and I feel as though he got the momentum going into 2019. Um, 2018, I feel as though it was a great year musically, and 
I feel as though it's a great year musically for the underground artists as well. You know, we've seen uh, the rise of um, the rise and the downfall of Takashi Six Nine. You know, like I said in the year, he did all everything and everything in the year. Like, believe it or not, this shit crazy. But like, 2018 is a year to be remembered. Um, but for 2019, you got anything coming up for yourself? You know, I'm tired of talking about all these other rappers, but you have anything else coming up for yourself, like in the near um, future? More, more music, man. Like, that's that's what I want to flood y'all with some music, man. I got a lot of music. I know you just dropped your, you know, your new video as well. Yeah, If Only just dropped, you mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? That's a video for that. Y'all go um, check that out. That's off the EP. Um, we're working on more visuals from the EP as well, but more okay. music, man. Um, try to get... Some more shows is gonna be more of the Mitch Lakes and Friends. It's gonna be just O and Friends, Manny and Friends. You feel what I'm saying? And we're gonna get the whole camp. We're gonna make it like like a movement. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Just have generate some more crowds so we can have like, you know what I mean? More more of a platform for us. You feel what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I feel like that's what we're missing. You feel what I'm saying? As far as real music and real hip hop and you're looking for bars, you feel what I'm saying? That's gonna be the move. Now, with you being a rapper, um, do you really focus on trying to be an independent rapper or you, your main objective is to get signed? Um, you know, can you see the best of both worlds? I'm pretty sure you do. From I, the outside looking in. Or yeah. unless you know people inside. Like, my focus, my focus, I'm gonna say, it don't really be on like getting signed or, or staying independent like that. Like, I don't even be focused on that. I be focused on the music. I be focused on the art type shit. I got a good team that that's, that's on point for real, for real. You feel what I'm saying? And right. we all just hitting on cylinders. So I, I'm more focused on my art and trying to perfect that, try to get better in that field. You feel what I'm saying? And be the best that I could be in that. But my preference, I would, I definitely would like probably stay independent and you know what I mean. And whatever partnerships come along with that, we go from there. But we gonna keep everything in house because that's how we building it. You feel what I'm saying? I respect that. I definitely respect that, but y'all already know where to check everything out at. You know, he's on Tidal iTunes, <clears throat> SoundCloud. Yeah. Um, you know, Make a Move EP, you know, Mitch Lakes and Friends, December 14th, 8 yeah. p.m., you know, 4102 Lounge. 4102 Germantown Ave, yeah. You already know it. Yeah. Um, you know, do your thing, man. Tell these people where to find you at. Uh, Mitch Lakes, man, M-I-T-C-H-L-A-K-E-S. That's on Instagram, Twitter. Twitter is who Mitch Lakes. But I'm on YouTube, Tidal, Spotify, wherever you listen to music at, man. More music coming up soon, man. December 14th, y'all come out. The homie hosting, you feel what I'm saying? Come have a have a good time, man. Enjoy yourselves, man. You already know, man. It's Signing a dead out. Hard show, man. Episode okay. 6, Mitch Leaks. Already, dog. Sir, I hate Kevin. Yeah. Miss Lakes. Pull up the bag.